Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about trash. I am desperately, desperately overdue for filming an empties uh, video because this is the little beauty trash can that I have and it is very clearly overflowing. So we're going to talk about some of the things that I like, some of the things that I didn't like, do little quick reviews of everything and get this dumped out so that I can start filling it up with new trash. If that sounds like something that you're interested in, keep watching. We're going to get into it right now. that is on top here with sort of a rogue lash glued to it is the Eyelore Enchanted After Dark um, Eyelash, reusable eyelash. It was a limited edition lash and I'm pretty sure it looks like this little bad boy right here. <laughs> I tend to go for kind of like the wispy fluttery lashes. Yeah, you can see here's the other one right here. Um, they were really, really nice. I feel like the band is a little bit... Um, relaxed so they didn't contour to the shape of my eyelid very easily and so I kind of struggled after like the first use when they were sitting on this kind of arched plastic I struggled to reuse them and have them maintain their shape um, overall for a couple bucks they were okay but I don't know that I would necessarily go out and buy more I have been doing a ton ton of face masks recently so I have this Tula skincare star bright face mask that I got from probably a boxy charm somewhere it was nice it had a cute little lace pattern to it when I put it on um, I, you know I'm not sure that these masks actually do a whole lot of anything and not just this one specifically but masks in general um, so it was nice but would I repurchase it I don't know uh, here's another one of those masks right here and then I had this honey double mask which I really enjoyed this I got this from Walmart actually and I think it was only like maybe three or four bucks um, but it had like a smoothing effect and like a moisturizing effect I definitely felt like this made my skin feel fresher after I used the the dual layer mask um, and it had a wonderful honey scent, so I would definitely repurchase that one, even if it was just more for the enjoyment of doing the mask. Oh, Lord. Um, same thing for the Sephora Avocado Hand Mask. Not sure that it did a whole lot, but it was fun to use. Would I repurchase it again? Probably not. But if it came in, like, a box of, you know, a subscription box or whatever, I'd probably use it again. Now these I just threw in here this morning. These are the Ardell Foam Ink 811s and I literally tried to put them on my eyes this morning to go with this cute little look that I put together um, and they would not stick. I used like two different coats of glue. I gave it the, the time that it needed and I think they are just worn out. They're flattened out again just like that other pair. Um, I did really enjoy them. I definitely would repurchase them, but I have a ton of lashes upstairs, so I really need to go through those before I repurchase any more. Alright, another mask. Karuna Hydrating Face Mask. I liked it. It was fun to do. Did I see a whole lot of effects from it? Not necessarily, but it wasn't a bad mask. It didn't give me any kind of reaction. Same thing with this Sephora Pearl Face Mask. Clearly you can see I'm trying to get rid of some of the masks that I have, so I've been doing a bunch of them. This Moisturizing Watermelon Mask, I think I got this from, from Walmart as well. Um, and this one has a really nice scent. It smelled a lot like the Glow Recipe Watermelon Moisturizer, so I would definitely redo that one, um, even if it's just for the scent. I used some Grace and Stella moisturizing eye patches not sure they did a whole lot they were a gift from my husband I think they're like a five pack maybe um, that he picked up at some point so I'll probably reuse them because I have several more pairs um, but would I repurchase probably not this charcoal clay bubble mask I know I got from Walmart it was definitely fun to use it bubbles up and kind of foams onto your skin while you're using it it's a little bit tingly, kind of like if you would rub like Sprite or something on your skin. I'm not sure that I would repurchase. Maybe I would. I might repurchase one of these uh, once I get through some of my other masks that I have. And then I had this as a sample. This was a Tarte Skincare Tight and Bright Clay Mask. 
and there was like a clay side and then a gel side the clay side was really hard it felt really crusty and um, as it dried I did not like the sensation of that one it didn't like burn or anything but I just wasn't a fan the gel mask side I really liked though so if they sold that on its own I feel like I would probably purchase a full size of that one but I think you can only buy it in the duo because they're meant to be used together in that same vein I have a Tarte deep dive cleansing gel used this all up this has been in my travel bag for a long time and clearly it got a lot of love um, it's completely empty I definitely like how moisturizing this is I like how easy it is to remove my makeup with this one it doesn't necessarily get all of the mascara off of my eyes so I still get a little bit of like raccoonishness in the mornings but overall I liked it and I would definitely use more of it okay so we've got some more masks here I've got the what was this Biobel primer mask which I used to prep before putting on makeup one morning I did really like it I feel like it was moisturizing I'm not sure that I felt any like smoothness or brightening which is what it recommends or what it sort of promises um, would I use it again sure would I buy it again probably not I have some beauty blender cleanser in here little samples that I was using as I was cleaning beauty blenders and brushes and an Ulta makeup brush and sponge cleanser cleanser this one actually works pretty well I think this size was like 10 bucks I would definitely recommend it if you do not have a brush cleanser that you like because I do think that it works pretty well I have a very very old and expired beauty blender it served its purpose I definitely am using new ones at this point I did get a three pack of the solid cleanser and the sponges at QVC this year um, as one of their like Black Friday deals I think it was like 25 bucks for all of that so I'm definitely looking forward to popping those new ones open and using those okay next thing is the fresh soy face cleanser I love this face cleanser to death I think this is the second one of these I've used up um, it works really nicely it takes pretty much everything off of my skin it doesn't burn my eyes and I can get all of my eye makeup off of it um, the only thing that I'm not in love with is apparently fresh is not cruelty free so now when I buy it I feel kind of bad because it makes me think of like really sad things happening in a lab got another mask this is the Sephora pomegranate face mask again it was enjoyable to do did it do a whole lot I'm not sure would I use another one yes would I pay for another one probably not. and then I had the skin Iceland hydro cool firming eye gels these definitely do give you a cool sensation I really did enjoy using them I would definitely repurchase them this is the second pack that I purchased um, and I, I'm not sure how much firming they do, but the skin does feel a little bit tighter after using them. I'm just not sure it's like a forever effect. I had some makeup wipes. I was using to clean off swatches. They were just fine. Um, this is one of the pure sponges, which is a little bit denser than the Beauty Blender, but I was using that one for a while to try to get my money's worth out of that. It was decent. The Essence Volume Booster lash primer is fantastic I would highly recommend you go buy some um, I got this one at Ulta if you can find it in stock at Ulta buy two because this stuff is like never in stock at Ulta it is absolutely perfect for priming your lashes giving you lots of volume it doesn't get real crusty and it has some like moisturizing it has some moisturizing properties in it that are good for your lashes so definitely definitely would recommend that one Okay, so the next thing to talk about is the QMS Medicosmetics Lip Line Corrector. This is supposed to be a serum that just goes right around your lips. And number one, I don't like the packaging on this. You have to kind of like twist it to get it to come up, but the minute you push it, it all goes back down again. So you have to twist it up and then hold the cap and pump at the same time, or else it just goes right back in. It's 15 mls and it's like a hundred something dollars is dumb expensive for no reason um, I didn't really see any improvement around my lips while using this product So I ended up starting to use it on my neck just as like a gentle moisturizer um, Thinking that the sensitive skin around the lips would be similar to the sensitive skin on your neck. So that's what I used it for and It worked okay, but would I ever buy this again? Absolutely not 
I think I have another one upstairs from like a boxy charm or something, but yeah, as soon as that one's done, it's out of here. I used up, or almost used up, an OPI top coat, but I started to notice some particles in it, so I'm thinking that there's either dirt in it or some kind of like bacteria or something, so I'm going to let that one go. It's been around with me for ages. Lashes MD eyelash conditioner. I was using this at night. I really did enjoy it. Um, I would definitely have to see what the price is of this one before I would consider repurchasing. Pretty sure I got this in like a BoxyCharm or a FabFitFun, some type of subscription box, so I'm not sure the exact price, but it was nice to use. The Dr. Jart Water Drop Hydrating Moisturizer. This stuff is fantastic. It comes out as like a almost looks like silicone when you squeeze it out um, but then when you actually put it onto your face I guess like the touch of going onto your skin it turns it more into like a watery liquid and then it soaks up right into your skin I really did enjoy using this I'm sure I got this in a boxy charm at some point along the way it was 30 ml I would definitely repurchase this the Laneige lip sleeping mask I used up one of these entirely definitely enjoyed um, using this product. I think it is super, super soft and leaves your skin super soft and silky in the morning. Um, it does not have any of the healing properties, which I only found out when Jen Loves Reviews did her whole, like, what is it, like, chapsticks, lip balms review thing. Um, and so I was super bummed to find out that this does not have any healing properties. It only has moisturizing properties. And after that, I felt like I had noticed so much more that it wasn't healing the dry skin. It was just moisturizing it temporarily. So I do have a couple more of these, including a full size of this one and a couple minis. So I will use them up. But after that, I probably won't repurchase just knowing that there's better and cheaper products out there. I use the Tarte Pack Your Bags eye masks they were really nice they smell kind of like sprite so that was interesting um the anastasia beverly hills dewy set setting spray i was so 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 hyped to get this when it first came out with the riviera palette last summer and i was like oh my god it's coconut scented have to have it no arguments and ordered it the day it came out and it really doesn't smell like coconuts at all and then I, I was looking at the packaging thinking like, oh my god, it's glittery, but it's just the actual plastic that's glittery, it's not the actual setting spray. So it did a good job as a setting spray, but definitely do not think I need to repurchase a high-end setting spray in the future. Another one of those pure sponges, they were fine. What else do I have in here? Oh, a hand sanitizer from my child's diaper bag. I guess I won't repurchase this since now it's like a rarity to even find it. Um, I don't know how you guys are all doing in your area, but with Corona, everybody lost their damn minds and is running around buying all the toilet paper, hand sanitizer, like just the weirdest stuff because coronavirus is not going to make you go to the bathroom more frequently. So I don't know if people are thinking they're going to be in their houses for six months, but it is what it is. I went through a Crest Gum Detoxify toothpaste. I'm actually using another one of these already. Um, hopefully, right? <laughs> this is a really nice um, toothpaste that was recommended by my dentist, and I feel like it does a really good job of, like, giving me a clean feeling in my mouth that lasts for more than, like, five minutes after I brush my teeth. So, definitely would recommend that one. What else do I have in here? An Ulta Beauty Sugared Vanilla Hand Soap. We just used this in our bathroom. Okay. So, the next thing I want to talk about is Ulla Henriksen. Now, when they dropped all of their banana bright vitamin C stuff, I was like, oh my gosh, I need all of this. And when I looked at the price, I was like, okay, never mind. And so, around Christmas time, they came out with like a little quad of different products that had the banana bright face primer, it had the Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream, the Banana Bright Eye Cream, and the Truth Serum. And I got all these and I was like, yes, I'm going to give these all a try. I'm so excited. The Banana Bright Face Primer, hands down my favorite thing out of this entire collection. It's really moisturizing. It does have like a really, really subtle banana smell, but it's not like fake candy bananas. Um, and I feel like it has just enough of like a yellowish tone that it goes on and it absorbs and just kind of smooths out the color on my face. The C brush brightening gel cream like I didn't see a whole lot of difference using this or not using this so for 50 something dollars for these tiny little 
cut no not at all same thing with the eye cream I used it up it was fine but I definitely would not pay the price for these to get them again because I didn't see enough of a benefit the last thing that was in the set and this is the thing that took the longest to use up is the truth serum uh, collagen boosted with true C complex facial serum this stuff, if I did any type of scrub or if I used like a Foreo or any type of, you know, like moisturizing scrubber, then put this on, it burned the hell out of my skin. And I don't know why, I, I don't know if it was the vitamin C or what, but this was a hard pass for me. Like I used it up, but I could only use it on the days where I hadn't already done any kind of exfoliation because the two of those things together didn't work for me. Okay. The next thing was a Verb C spray, and it's like one of those salt sprays for your hair that like curls your hair. It was really nice. I got it in some subscription box somewhere. Um, I didn't use all of it, but I used most of it, and it was enjoyable. I would use it again. And another thing of wipes to just, you know, rub off swatches and this and that. And then I have a whole whole bunch I don't know if you can see all of that in there whole bunch of lip products that all expired when I first started doing makeup I was super super hyped for I was super hyped for buying tons and tons of lip products and I was like yes I'm gonna use all of these all the time forever and I didn't really stop to think about the fact that you only have two lips and that you're just not the type of person that reapplies your lip products six times a day. So you don't need 35 nude lipsticks because you're only ever going to use two of them and the rest of them are going to turn bad in your collection. So I recently went through my collection and opened everything up, swatched it, smelled it. If anything looked off or smelled off, I just went ahead and threw it in this basket. And it's kind of a bummer because I feel like there was so much that I could have used and didn't because I was just constantly buying new things. So now I'm trying to be a little bit more judicious with my lip product purchases so that I don't just have and then never use. Alright, and then the last, last couple things in here was the Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine uh, Eye Primer. This had like a really weird separation. It's super white, which I like, and I re was recommended it by Jam Beauty 89 Jessica Braun. Um, it was fine. It had a really oil slip kind of consistency to it and the fact that it separated made me not want to go back to it so I don't think I would repurchase. The It Cosmetics Brow Power Pencil. Um, I didn't end up using all of this but the shape of it just it's like a weird oval and I feel like I don't get a lot of control over this so I let that one go because it's also not my shade. I got in a subscription box so it's like whatever. A um, couple different mascaras here. Roller Lash by Benefit. Sample size. It was okay. The Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara sample size. I do like it, but it's super pricey, so I don't go for it. The Monsieur Big by Lancome. Again, it's nice, but it's too expensive, so I don't go for it. And the YSL The Shock Mascara. I really, really like this mascara. Um, I don't know that I would repurchase the full size just because of the price. Essence Cosmetics False Lash Effect Lash Princess Mascara is still my number one. It's $5 and until anything comes along and blows me out of the water beyond that, I'm going to keep going back to that one because of the price and the quality together. So, that is all of my beauty trash. Thank you so much for watching. If you have anything that you would recommend to me, please feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye!